Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to post Telegram messages on Facebook group. So here my objective is every time a new message is received on Telegram, then automatically the same message should be posted as a message, a text message in Facebook group. Now to do this, we'll have to integrate Telegram and Facebook groups and we can do the same using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger will be Telegram and my action will be Facebook groups. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect software and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in and if you are a new user, you will have to sign up. It's not going to take more than two minutes and yes, at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks so that you can test all these automations. Now, once you reach the dashboard on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Click on this and this dialog box has appeared here. You have to name your workflow. You can give any random name. I'm going to name it as per my objective. What is my objective here? To post telegram messages on Facebook group. Let's click on create. So as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you get a response on SMS about the amount debited. Now, how does that happen with the help of automation? So in such a case, your trigger will be the payment gateway and your action application can be any application through which you can send this message. Now let's come to our use case. So here my trigger will be telegram bot. Let's click on this and the trigger event here will be to set webhook or watch updates. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect wants to connect with Telegram bot account. Since we are setting up this connection for the first time, I have selected add new connection. And now to set up this connection, we need a token. How can we receive this? So first of all, you have to go to your Telegram web. So here I'm going to look for bot father. Let's start the conversation. And here I'm going to create a new bot. So this is it and we can see that yes it is asking me to name it so here i'm going to name it as smart integration one two three four so we can see that now we have to choose a username so it has to be smart integration one two three four underscore bot always remember that when you are giving a username it has to end with underscore bot now, as we do that here, we can see that it is saying that our bot has been created and we can find the same here in this link. And now this here is the token that is required to set up the connection. I'm going to copy this, take you back to Pabli Connect, paste the same here, click on save to set up this connection. And here we can see that Telegram bot and Pabli Connect are now connected. So here I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that here, it is waiting for response. Basically, now we are supposed to do a test submission so that we can understand if the response is getting captured here. To do this, to do this, first we are going to create a group with the bot that we have just created. How can we do that? First, I'm going to click on this link. This here is the new bot that we have created. Let's start the conversation so that we can find this here in the chat. Now here I'm going to create a new group. And here I'm going to add the new bot that we have just created and a few more people. So here I have added a few more people. Click on enter. Now here we have to name this group. So let's say the name of the group is smart integration 1234 group. Now I'm going to click on enter. And as we do that here, we can see that our group has been created. Let's go to profile these are the members now what am i supposed to do this bot that we have just created we have to promote this bot to admin and how can we do the same for this you will have to take your phone go to the group that we have just created and go to the members here long press on the board that you have just created you will get an option to promote to admin click on that on the top right corner there will be a tick option so click on that and your 
work is done. Now I'm going to quickly refresh this page. Let's go back to the members and we can see that this bot has been promoted to admin. And once this is done, I'm going to close this. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to recapture webhook response. So now what I'm going to do is in this particular group, I'm going to write a message. So let's say here that I have written, I believe we are here on the planet Earth to live, grow up and do what we can to make this world a better place for all people to enjoy freedom. This is a quote by Rosa Parks. As soon as I click on enter, let's go back to Pabli Connect to see if we have received the response here. And yes, here is the response. So this is the update ID. Here is the text that we have just posted on the Telegram group. This is the message ID. Username is this and then we have rest of the details. This is the chat title. So this is the name of our group. Now what is my objective? I want this text to be posted on my Facebook group. For this, I'm going to choose my action application as Facebook groups. Let's click on this. And the action event here will be to post message. Let's click on connect. Here, Public Connect wants to connect with Facebook groups account. I have selected add new connection, connect with Facebook groups. Here, I'm going to continue as my account. And once this is done, here we can see that the authorization has been successful. Once this is done, now we have to enter the name of the group and the message. So let me take you to my Facebook account. So this here is my Facebook account. Let's go to the groups that I have created. So these are the various groups that I have created. There are a lot more. Let's say that I want to post this message on Pabli members group. So here I'm going to select Pabli members. Here it is. And then the message. So here I'm going to click on this. You can see the previous step here. And this here is the text message. So I'm going to select this. Now this method with which we have added the information here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time you receive a new response and there is a new message. So it can be taken into consideration. Now let's say that I had written this manually. Then even when we had received some new response, whenever this workflow was running in real time, it wouldn't have taken that. Instead, it would have been stuck with the manually written data. So to avoid that, we map the information. Okay, next we have link. So if there is any link to be attached with the message, you can enter it here. I'm simply going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that, here we have received the response, which means that this message has been posted on the Facebook group. Let's go and check the same. So here we are going to go to Pabli members. And as I take you down here, we can see that our message has been posted. So this means that our integration is a success. Let's check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to Telegram and here I'm going to post another message. So this time I have written, sometimes the most important thing in a whole day is the rest we take between two deep breaths. This is another code written by Etty Hillesim. Now I'm going to click on enter. As soon as I have done that, what should happen? automatically this message must be posted on my Facebook group. Let's go and check the same. So here, first of all, I'm going to refresh this page. And as I take you down here, we can see another quote has been posted. So this means our integration is a complete success, taking you back to Public Connect. Let's understand what we have done. So here our trigger was Telegram bot where the event was to set webhook or watch updates. Then our action application was Facebook groups where the event was to post message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.